You are welcome to this episode of uh, Team Marriage. As we have it in the team, it is a teamwork, even for the family. So everything is supposed to be a teamwork, even the program is supposed not to separate any couple. Today, I'm not the one that will speak, but my wife, the partner in the team, is going to speak to us in this week's episode. And I have no doubt in my mind that we will surely be blessed. Welcome to this week's episode of Team Marriage. And today we are going to be looking at two different forms of calculations. We are all very familiar with mathematics. And 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Even those in elementary class will already be saved. Another calculation is what we call in team marriage God matters, where one plus one equals to one. So we have two forms of calculation. Mathematics one plus one equals two. In God matters, one plus one equals to one. And that is what in team marriage we believe we should all uphold. God's intention is that when a man and a woman come together, they become one person, united, indivisible. They are joined together. And that's why God says, Whatsoever God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Putting asunder means you want to break into two what God has perfectly joined together. And this principle of God matters. Right from creation, God actually let us into that understanding. In Genesis 1.27, the scripture told us that God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. And it says, male and female created he them. That is the mystery that we have in marriage. Now, even in creation, that single man, God had designed that there is within him a male and a female perfectly joined together into one person. If any marriage is able to apply this principle in its totality, then they are bound to have a pleasant and pleasurable marriage that will be of less stress to both partners. We need to be warm in our talks, in our plans, in our spiritual life, in our finances, in the way we do things, in our business and our finances, in our social life, in every aspect of our marriage life, we need to be one. One plus one should be one. I would like to quickly submit that devil is always fighting this principle. And we also as human beings are constantly fighting this principle. So anywhere in your marriage you continually hear, this is me, this is how I want to do my things, this is my own thing, this is my own area, this is mine, then we are breaking that principle of God matters. We could have our differences, but even when we differ, God intends that we should handle all issues as one person. The family of one becomes the family of the other. The brothers, the sisters, the parents naturally becomes the parent of the other because truly you are now one. And we should treat them as if truly they are a part of us. So it is lack of understanding of this dogmatic principle that will make one of the spouse to tell the other, your head is not correct. In actual fact, you're saying, your own head is not correct because both of you have become
from one. It is also one of this principle, an understanding of the principle, that will make a spouse raise his or her hand against the other spouse. I mean, who on earth will in his natural sense or her natural sense will lift his or her hand and slap himself? So if we begin to slap each other or beat each other, we are also not fully understanding that principle. And as a matter of fact, you are beating yourself. And only bad people do that, if you agree with me. So we want to trust the Lord that each of us as a couple, we continually understand more and more this principle of God matters. And I hope all that this spirit will help me and you and every one of us to continually operate in this understanding. So as we come your way at another episode, team marriage keeps saying, let's remain one in truth and in spirit. One in body, in soul and in spirit. One in every area of our lives. So that truly we become indivisible and we can not be separated. God bless you.